Hello, my name is Fajar Purnama and on this video I would like to make a simple tutorial for those who are new to Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. And one of the most important thing that you need to have is a cryptocurrency wallet to send and receive coins. But I have coins in my exchange already, so why do I need a wallet? Well, an exchange you don't really have control over your coins over your funds or over your money suppose that the exchange closes for whatever reason or it decide to block or blacklist you you will lose access or you will lose all your funds or your coins just like a bank in hyper during hyper inflation they can deny access to your money or even confiscate your money so that is what you call confiscation so let's but about the cryptocurrency wallet it's different you will have almost full control which i will explain later on so let's get started with the tutorial for now i choose exodus wallet as the tutorial so there is exodus.io there are many kinds of wallet application but let's use this one for now so you can download on windows mac os linux uh, ios and android so after you download for example here i'm on windows you can just install and i don't need to go through the installing process because you just need to follow the instructions then you will have a wallet interface like this welcome to exodus so first thing that you need to see is this is you can see the price chart you can go to wallet to see your assets your coins and the first thing you need is your public address which is you can go to receive and this is your for example your bitcoin public address you send these characters or this qr code to anyone to your friends to workers to, or anyone you want to receive coin from this is where you can receive your coin and i will make a demonstration in sending a coin but not using bitcoin I'll be using for example Litecoin because it is faster to transmit for now so first I need to open my receive and that is, this is my address or this is and here's my QR code and then I will demonstrate sending through my mobile phone so I have Exodus installed on my mobile phone and now let's switch to my mobile this is my Exodus wallet on my Android smartphone and I'm on the Litecoin uh, menu so before I proceed I would like to say that you don't need a whole Bitcoin, a Litecoin or whatever coin you can have just a fraction of a coin even just a one dollar worth of the coin and so this is the receive the same as the desktop now let's proceed in sending to mine newly installed desktop wallet i have 0 0.9 litecoin and around 46 dollars so i want to send you can say 00 whatever one i can just write it in dollar as well maybe i want to send one dollar worth of litecoin which is 0 0.9 to litecoin and then i can just paste the litecoin address where i have but i write the user qr code there it is and the qr code is just actually a representation of your of the address which is this one and then i need to press next slide the button sending to this one and then send in transaction in progress so it is a best practice as a sender after you send okay go to the send to share the transaction id 
where you can see using a program but now there is many online blockchain explorer that can that you can just use a browser and search the internet that you can check the status of your of the transaction so it's best practice as a sender to to share the transaction ID as you can see here I will back on desktop I got my 0 0.021 Litecoin so the sending and receiving process it is that simple if the coins that you want is not on the list then go to add more and see if it's there but if it you cannot find your coins here then probably you need to use another wallet or go to its website and get this official wallet or follow the instruction here is the exchange bill where you can exchange within the wallet probably is connected to a dex or the centralized exchange now let's move to the most important part of the wallet that is your access key an access key uh, that i know can be in two form one is in a seed phrase in exodus is a 12 word seed phrase well here it is and you can see how which i will explain later so like this and whenever you install a new wallet or on a new computer you can restore your funds by putting this 12 seed phrase which i put on the pdf already the other form is the old or the yeah the old private keys so the private keys kind of look similar to your public address but it is your private key this one so back them up if you lose your if you lose your keys you will lose your you will lose access to your coins forever do you remember what I first said in the first part of the video so in the first part of the video I said that you have almost full control over your coins that is because initially you have it is you who have control over your own access keys so and so anyone who doesn't have these keys cannot assess your coins so far as long as you have these keys it is safe and you can so make sure you store it in a very safe place treat it as a treasure like you store your gold into the vault or into a locker print the print these keys and then store them into the locker or a vault or put them in an encrypted folder or whatever and keep it secure because anyone who knows these keys can assess your funds or your coins so why does in exchange is not a good place to hold for long term because you don't have the keys they are the one who is holding the keys so they are the one who is controlling your coins if they choose again if they choose to kick you out to ban you to block you or they go down for whatever reason you will lose access to your coins forever yeah and so make sure if you don't want you're not going to trade you're not going to exchange withdraw your coins to your wallet and one misconception about a wallet a wallet is not actually a wallet it's not a place where your coins is stored a wallet is actually a keychain or a chain of keys your wallet doesn't contain coins but it contains keys to assess your funds so where is your coins where is your funds it is on the network for example on litecoin your 
Litecoin is on the Litecoin network. Your Bitcoin is on your Bitcoin is on the Bitcoin network. It is said to be borderless because wherever you are, if you can if you can assess the network, you can assess your coins by just inserting your keys. So one last quote before no one last absolute rule before I finish the video. Andreas Antonopoulos said your keys your Bitcoin not your keys not your Bitcoin so this key so this private key is the most important thing of all so let me uh, demonstrate so here I just downloaded a different wallet not Exodus called Electrum and I downloaded the Litecoin portable wallet for Windows and here let's choose import Litecoin address or private keys now here is my private key okay I need to input a password oh no I don't need to let's go next and there you go no and there you go as you can see it is 0 0.021 what is the public address it is the same you see it's the same so this wallet and this wallet is the same so it's not the, about the wallet but what important is your address and your private key it is this private key that is most important with this private key no matter what wallet you're using you can assess your funds or coins and lastly let me say again the quote in my way not your keys not your coin your keys your coin and thank you very much